Hello everyone and welcome to the most stupidest game ever read up by Sesef. This game is from 2003 and it's so old that I had to download an RPG Maker emulator to be able to play it. So that's great. Yeah, that's me, Herbert Schwartz Longfellow the Third Esquire. But most people just call me Doug. I'm not sure why, but hey, it's fine by me. I had been tossed in jail for two years because apparently purposely running over a cat with a gas-powered push lawnmower was a felony. Who'd have thought, you know? Anywho, unbeknownst to me at the time, this was the day I'd finally get out of jail. I'd sort of lost track. But more importantly, this was the beginning of the day that would set me out upon a great journey. A journey to be told of my future offspring for years and years to come. And so, it begins. Uh, can I move? Oh. Alright, can I move now? Oh. Hey, open up the cell. Today's the prisoner's release date. Oh really, I had no idea. Thanks for the reminder. Sure. Hear that? Uh... Herbert? You're free to go as of today. Great, let me out! Just a second. You're free to go, Herb. I'll miss you, man. Really? You mean it? No, not really. Now get out of here, you! Oh, I can move. Alright, let's check out what's going on with this. Can't interact, that's fine. Can I sprint? No? I'm guessing it's on always sprint. Hey, what's up? What's up, guard? Can I speak to you? Just go already. What if I speak to you again? Alright, let's go. Hmm. Well, now that I'm free, what should I do? I guess I'll go back to my house at the southwest part of the village. Southwest. Okay. This is not my house. But... Hey, what am I doing? It may not seem like it. Much like the cats and lawnmowers deal. But stealing mail is a class A felony. I'll have no part of that. Can I go in this guy's house? Hey, 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 what do you think this is? Some kind of Final Fantasy-ish RPG where you can wander aimlessly into people's homes without permission? You can't do that here. People either kill trespassers or call the police. Police? What? Christ, look at Anne Hash, for example. She wanders aimlessly all the time and check out how much crap she got for it. I advise you strongly to not do that crap here. Not like I'm gonna let you anyways. Alright, fine. Fine, fine, let's go to our house. What? Oh, look at well. Okay. Look at the cows. What the hell's going on in my house? Now taking bids on the estate, do I hear ten thousand dollars? A thousand? Uh, any bids at all? Five dollars. Eight dollars. Fifteen dollars. Twenty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. What on earth? I'll get to the bottom of this. Hey, what are you doing on my lawn? Huh? Your lawn? Oh, you must be the former owner, Herbert Schwarz Long. Yeah, yeah, that's me, but what do you mean, former owner? Well, in case you didn't notice, there are tons and tons of unpaid bills in your mailbox. Now, given that you were in jail, we can throw you into jail for it, but in lieu of that action, we decided to repossess your estate and all your belongings and auction them off here to pay off your massive debt. Oh, okay. But I still want my house and stuff back. Gimme! Give Gimme give it back, I say! Uh, well, your stuff is gone, but you still got a shot at the house, just join in the action. Auction. Uh, but I have no money. Well then, there's a simple solution to all this. Get lost. You're holding up the auction. Uh, where, where will I sleep? How would I know? Try the dirt cheap inn just across the road. Now scram! Wow, what do these people have to say? Can I go to my house? Hmm, I suppose I can check the mail. Let's see. Bills. Bills. Bills, bills, bills. Damn. Lots of bills. Hey, what's this? You may have already won one million dollars. Wow! 
I better keep this until I can fill it out and mail it back in... Good lord, a million dollars, what will I do with it? Ah, can't think about that now. Or how, can I go in? How in the hell? Someone changed my locks. But I have the only set of keys. Ah, what a crappy deal. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Now is not the time to leave town. Right now, the inn is the best place to go. Well, the inn's right over here, buddy. buddy. <gasps> the cows! Wait, let's go talk to the cows, hold on. Yo, what's up? What's up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Let's go to the end. <clears throat> wow, this place really is dirt cheap. The jail cell had better furnishings than this place. What did you expect? It's a dirt cheap inn. Not exactly a name that yells out luxuries and decent housekeeping galore, you idiot. Yeah, but this place makes the cell at jail look like a luxury suite at a rumada. Well, you can stay here or go find somewhere else to sleep. Your choice. Good point. Uh, let's talk to her. You're gonna stay here? I'm not gonna charge you not to stay in this dump. I'm not gonna charge you not to stay in this dump. How about it? I don't think so. Let's talk to this guy before we stay here. Hey, I'm Mark. That's Mark with a C. I'm a wandering salesman. Can I interest you in something, perhaps? Ah, let's see what Mark has. Milk, sweet and low, one use defibrillator, defibrillator, I'm sure that's how you spell it, anti-venom. What do I have? Oh, a letter, okay. Well, thanks for perusing my goods, see ya. What's this do? Hi there, I'm a save point, and you, oh my, you're just a scrawny little shrimp. I shouldn't let you save here. Hey now, don't insult me like that. In case no one has ever told you before, it's rather rude. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about your stupid human feelings. Let's just end this conversation, okay? You won't save your game? Not with an abusive save point. Oh, sure, like I'm gonna feel guilty about insulting you now. You just watch when you die. Then the next game, you'll come crying back. They all do. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I do want to save. Okay, let's talk to her and let's sleep here. Yeah, I'll sleep here. Good luck getting rest in this dark damn cavern we try to call an in. I'm pretty sure she changed her voice. That's fine. Top of the morning to ya. Here's an aspirin for the bad back. Don't worry, it's typical on those rocks with sheets with pass off as beds. If you want, I heard the auction across the street was over. I wonder who got the house. I wonder, okay, let's save. Oh, ho, look who's back. It's the shrimp man. What's the matter? Scared of the world and need me to lean back on as insurance? No, screw you. Oh, sure it isn't. We'll see about that, won't we now? <laughs> screw you, save point. I'm not saving with you. Yeah, take that. Oh, this man got a house. Um, hello, are you the new owner of this house? Why? Yes, I am. My name's McCruder. I'm a priest, as you can see. And who might you be, kind sir? Oh, me, I'm... Hey, this guy doesn't look that tough. I bet I could beat him up and force him to give me the house. Yeah, that's what I'll do, he's going down. I'm... gonna totally kick your ass! What on earth are you talking about? Father Magruder's in front of you. Oh, what are you trying to do? I'm gonna kill you, you bastard. I don't think so. Huh? Yeah! Huh? What, what the hell? You assumed I was a weak person with no fighting ability, when I'm really a master of Jeet Kune Do. What? Ooh. <laughs> One more to finish you off. Wait, wait, whatever happened to Thou Shalt Not Kill? Nothing. But there is no Thou Shalt Not Kick another's head up his own buttocks. Ah! Serves you right, trying to draw me and all. Now be gone, child. They have some bushes to tend to. Oof, 
that. That priest is too strong for me to defeat. Alone, at least. Yes, that's it! I'll find some people to help me kick his ass! But no one in this town is a good fighter, let alone strong. I will guess I'll have to go look in the nearest town for a good fighter to help me. I think the nearest city is small town to the southwest. Well, let's go southwest. I am adventuring. I'm trying to find some people to kick a priest's ass. <laughs> oh. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Sorry, can't go this way, pal. Uh, can I sneak in? No, I guess not. Well, let's go adventure. This music's so damn good. I'm gonna kill that priest and not feel bad about it. Oh! Glass Joe! Right, let's punch him. Do it, Doug. What is this? Uh, sure, let's do it, Doug, on Glass Joe. One health. Is that a lot? I don't know. How much health do I have? I have a lot of health. Yeah, I'm good. Glass Joe collapses. I guess he truly is made of glass. Let's put this on auto battle. There we go. Speed this up a little, you know? Oh. Never mind. Okay, let's kill this this glass Joe. He's dead. And let's get rid of this glass Joe. You're going down, glass Joe. And going down he did. And go down he did, I mean. English is not my strong suit. Alright, let's keep going. I'm gonna kill a priest. I'm an awful person. Oh. Hey, save point, how you doing? Oh, great. It's this crony punk from the dirt cheap inn again. What's the matter? Your wet diapers need changed, kiddo? Uh, I hate you. <laughs> so what do you need, little boy? Insurance that you'll come back after slimes kick your ass? No, you got it all wrong. Oh, do I? We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Stupid save points. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's not a good sign. Well, let's talk to this person. I'm afraid the boat is out of the moment. Come back later. Who are you? What is this? Uh, you are weird. Okay... Do we have a menu? We do have a menu. Aspirin. Okay, I'm guessing that heals... Health? Surely. Equipment. Okay. Well... Southwest down. The boat isn't here. We can't pass through there, so... Oh, it's this. This is a... Th I thought that was just a bunch of rocks. Okay, let's go into town. Oh, look at this person. What you doing around here? This is a small town food supply. Do you wish to know a fun fact about small town? Yes. Of course you do. Small town is very well known for its high quality bread. This is town's leading crash crop. Um... Cool. Can I know another fact? Yes. Oh, same fact. Okay, you are a boring man, Mr. Guard. That's the pub. Okay, we'll find people at the pub, surely. Hey, anybody wanna help me beat up a priest? You, you seem like the priest beating up type. I'm dying, can't you see that? Now leave me alone, I have more things to steal. What about you? Surely you hate priests. Don't hassle me about how misshapen I am, I know already, pal! Wow. What about you? Hate priests? I'm so lonely. <laughs> wow, okay. What about you? Priest beating? You think I'm a snazzy dresser? I do. Fine, what about you, barkeep? Huh? Fighters? In this town? <laughs> No one in this town knows how to fight. Hey, what about the guy in the building right next to us? I heard he's a decent fighter. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know. Never seen the guy, have you? Uh, well, no, not really. Exactly. For all you know, he could be some chubby, worthless waste of space. Yeah, you know, come to think of it, no one goes in and no one goes out of that building. Odd. Oh, no, that's the bartender. Odd. Okay. 
let's go check out that building then. This is one weird lake. Uh, what about you? What do you have to say? That little kid across the road reminds me of a boy in some video game. Can't think of what game though. Hmm, damn it all. He does not remind me of anyone, but I do not have the early 2000s pop culture knowledge that these people did, so I wouldn't know. Well, if I'm gonna meet a good fire in this town, this place, I guess. What is going on in here? Who are you and why are you trespassing in my house? I could kill you, I'll have you know. Ah, crap, I forgot about that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My name is Herbert, and I was searching the town for strong fighters, and I got a tip that, uh, you... I see, I see, say no more. Of course you were right. My name is Violus, and I am a good fighter, if I dare say so myself. Better than most, but tell me something. Why are you looking for strong fighters? Well, well you see, I just recently got out of jail and my house got auctioned off. I tried to regain it, but the new owner was a psycho kung fu priest with incredible power. So, since no one in my town was strong at all, I decided to venture down to this town to try and find a good fighter to help me beat him up. Hmm, I see. However, I can't help you with your little plot to regain your real estate. I have more pressing matters to over on another continent. Uh, well, I have an idea. Suppose I help you with your affairs, would you help me in return? Eh, uh, I don't know. My matters are pretty important, and if you get in the way... Oh, come on, I've never seen land beyond this continent, and it'd be a good opportunity for me to find more strong fighters. Eh, well, please, I won't be a burden. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm, he could serve as a nice decoy if I get ambushed by some assassins or monsters of the sort. And what could he possibly do anyways? Hmm. Alright, you can come. But if you get in the way even once... Oh, don't worry, I won't. So, uh, when do we leave? Right now. We have a boat to catch down at the port to the south. Alright, let's go! Okay. Violas joins up. Nice riff. Okay, can we explore his house? Lots of books, a nice bed. Okay. Let's talk to this weird kid. What's up, kid? Hey, mister! Wanna wrestle? Uh, maybe later. Jesus, what about this woman? I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. So pretty and witty and gay. And I pity any girl who is not me today. Wow, you're gay? <laughs> are you sure you aren't confused, little girl? I feel charming. Oh, so charming. It's alarming how charming I feel. Alright, that's enough of that. Holy sh... <laughs> feel pretty now? Mwah! What the hell, Herbert? Jesus Christ. Hey, she had it coming. Uh, yeah, sure she did, Herbert. Oh my god, man. Oh look, this one looks nice. Weird. Even after this guy's dead, his tombstone still gets laid. <laughs> man, that was funny. Get the pun? Lay as in the reef and lay as in... Uh, okay, I'll stop. Jesus Christ, Herbert, you're a psycho. What's over here? Oh, nothing. Okay, let's check out this house. Hey, what's up, gentlemen? I think that Pops finally lost it all. All he does all day is spot about the tunnel and mumbles bits of Jack and the Beanstalk, like stuff about grinding bones. Like stuff about grinding bones. You build this tunnel. We shovel uh, with our hands. Build this tunnel, we shovel with our hands. Okay. I am betting these are a whole lot of references I am not understanding. Oh well. Let's go catch a boat. 
<laughs> I'm gonna catch a boat and kill some assassins. Okay. I'm not saving with you. Screw you. Let me take care of things from here until we are aboard the ship. Alright. Oh, look! It's Violus. Image not found. Yes, yes. Hey, it's Violus. I haven't seen you in a while. Likewise. Is there a boat in at the moment? I believe so, yes. Is it just you going today? Actually, no. Today I have some company. His name is Herbert. I see. Well, I'm not sure the captain will allow both of you to go. He usually has a weird one person per trip policy. But since it's you, he may... I'm sure I can convince him. So, are we set to go? Believe so. Just let me tell Gloop to move. Okay. You know, I've always wondered something about Gloop. Where did he come from? You remember that old 1980s cartoon, The Herculoids? Yeah, the one with the giant stone ape, wyvern, rhino that shot bullets and the, the blobs. What about it? Yeah, he's the offspring of Gleep and Gloop, the two blobs. Really? That's amazing! But weren't they both male? Uh... uh. Hey, you better go catch your boat! Oh... Okay... See you around. Move, Gloop. I got a boat to catch. I got a priest to murder. So far, I really like the plot. The plot is we lost our house and we gotta kill a priest. Arr! I be the captain of this vessel. And you best take heed and not get me. Oh, hi, Violas. How are you today? I'm alright, I suppose. Captain, do you think it'd be alright if I brought another person with me today? Uh, two people, huh? Well, it goes against my policy. Come on, Captain. You owe me one from when I saved the ship from that giant polar kraken. Uh, uh, well. Ah, uh, I suppose I could let it slide this one time, but never again. I don't like more people than I can keep my good eye on traveling on the boats. Thanks, Captain. Sure, sure, now get aboard and... Below. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. Leave. Okay, so it's not me not being up to understand English, it's actual grammar mistakes. Now, <clears throat> shiver me timbers. Look here, mateys, we has company, her, her. I'm going to go above and talk to the captain some. I suggest you get some sleep. The bunks are the first door on the left. See you later. Man, that guy Vilus has a weird voice, huh? <laughs> oh look, a chest. Let's spill for it. You found 400 bucks. This will come in handy. Wow, 400 bucks just lying around. Hmm, wow, what an impressive collection of graphic smut involving Kermit the Frog. I had no idea such things existed. What about the bed? Nothing. Lots of alcohol, lots of fruits. Hey, who's this guy? Wait, I recognize him, you're the merchant. Hey, fancy meeting you here. Herbert, what can I get for you? Uh, right now, I got 400 bucks. Let's see. I think all homeless huts, makeshift house hobos use. Oh, that would come in very handily. But I think I'll buy two milk, please. Have a good day, mister. See ya. And, uh, don't tell anyone I'm here. I kind of snuck on board. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Mark. Well, which bed is my bed? Here we go. Ugh, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Ooh, that fake yawn made me wonder what yawn. Oh, uh, it's gonna kill us all! Ah! Huh? Where'd the bed go? And why have I soiled myself? No matter, gotta help on above deck. Look who it is. Oh, <laughs> look who it is, it's the Wimp Man. Shut up, I have to hurry and get above deck, so just let me save already. 
No, no, I don't wanna... Fine, I will save. Ah, uh, you got the best of me this time, save point, but never again. What's going on above deck? Herbert! I assume the Sheik spoke you. We have very big trouble on our hands. Like what? Like what? <laughs> it's just a legendary beast of Neptune! The creature that killed all trespassers of Poseidon's ancient kingdom instantly! So, what you're trying to tell me is that... We're in Atlantis? Cool! No, you dolt! The beast of Neptune is on the ship and is going to kill us all! Can't you see that? Look! <laughs> Lord have mercy on my soul! I don't wanna die today! You see it? There it is! Where? There! What? Behind the kitten? It is the kitten! You silly sod. What? You had me all worked up for a moment. Well, that's no ordinary kitten! Oh... That's the most foul, cruel and bad-tempered feline you'll ever set eyes on! You idiot, I almost saw myself, I was so scared! It's just a kitten! Look, that kitten's got a vicious streak a mile wide! It's a killer! Sure it is. I'm warning you! Oh, what will it do? Nibble my bum? <laughs> He's got huge, sharp... Uh, he can leap about... Look at the bones! Oh, good grief. Move. I'm gonna go kill it. Look! Oh my god, Jesus Christ! I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh no, you knew it all, didn't you? Oh, it's just a harmless little kitty, isn't it? Well, oh, shut up! We must avenge the two crewmen's deaths. We must kill that kitten. Well, you're right. I do suppose we should go down fighting, protecting this vessel. Right, let's go. Violus joins up. Uh, I don't think that's a bad idea. That guy literally just removed all the flesh and meat from that guy, like, instantly. What do you have to say, crewmate? God help us all. Who are you? Poor Blue got eaten by the beast of Neptune. Oh <laughs> no! What about you, Cam? Oh, he's got a peck leg. It was nice knowing you both. Okay, what about the bones? Well, <laughs> let's see what he's made of. Beast of Neptune's in front of us. This is nuts! Death awaits us all with nasty big pointy teeth! Get a grip, man! There's no going back now! Right! Let's kill it! Okay, Violas. Let's do this. Do it, Doug, on the kitty. And... Spiff on the Beast of Neptune. Good damage. It's shocked. Very nice. It's no longer shocked. Okay. Do it, Doug. And Spiff once again. Oh god, it's attacking. Nine health. Okay. Good attacks. Good attacks. It's shocked, that's great, that's great. Let's keep shocking it. Are we using up MP, I wonder? Let's see. We do seem to be using up MP. Yeah, four. Four MP. Uh, five MP, that's fine. Is it shocked? It is, that's great, we're stun locking it. Okay, 11 health. Let's do normal attacks now, let's keep spiffing. Oh! Dear God, this beast is... Remorseless, but we won. 150 XP? That cat had a hundred bucks on him. Oh my god. Kitty Claw received. Herbert, level 3. Raise the level. Violas, level 4. Raise the level. Spiff Blade acquired. Alright, we defeated it. Indeed. I thought it'd be impossible. You're actually a pretty good fighter, Herbert. I didn't think much of your skills until now. Really? Thanks! You're not bad either. Of course I'm not. I'm a very good fighter, as I told you back in Small Town. Oh. Yeah. Right. Thank you for defending my innocent, helpless ship once more, Violas. And you too, Mr. Herbert. <laughs> sure. No problem, Captain. I'll just use this incident for the next time when I need to say, you owe me one. Right, right. Well, 
We should be approaching the southern continent by now. We should be there momentarily. Okay. I believe we have just arrived. Let's go. Well, I'm gonna talk to this extremely rude save point, and then that's gonna be the video for now. So let's let's save up. Ho oh, oh, ho! Look who it is! It's the Wimp Man. Hey now, I handled the Beast of Neptune above pretty well. Oh really? Picking on poor kittens instead of slimes now? Slimes too powerful for you? <laughs> uh, I really hate you. Okay, well, let's give a save. Let's say some closing thoughts and. Let's finish right here. Let's see, what do I think of the game so far? Love it. Absolutely love it. Well, anyways, that's all I have to say about the game, really. I'm loving it. So, that's it for today. I hope you're having a great day, because I sure am. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.